Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're here at Plainview Shopping Center at the Cask Southern Kitchen and Bar. Of all the restaurant recommendations that I've gotten lately, I've probably had more recommendations to come review this place than any other place in town. It's a kind of a new trendy place, and unfortunately, they open, they had to open last May in the middle of this pandemic. So you know they gotta be suffering. So we definitely gotta get out, support this place, support local, of course, uh, my viewers, uh, the, you know, you got to hit that subscribe button and notification button also because the more views we get, the more we help, help these restaurants. All right, so we're going to start off with the oysters. And I'm going to show you how it's done here. First, put a little, uh, little horseradish on there. Some cocktail. I know the cocktail's already got horseradish, but I like I love horseradish. And then of course, squeeze your lemon juice. And I didn't know if they would have Tabasco here or not, so I came packing, came packing heat as usual. Never can be uh, unprepared. All right, Tabasco. All right. A lot of people put them on crackers, but the way you really do it, you just slurp it on down. All right, we're gonna nail some of these oysters and we'll be right back. All right, now we're gonna move on to my other appetizer, which is the smoked wings, which uh, were recommended by friends. They, uh, they make all their dressings here in-house, blue cheese and ranch, everything's homemade. So let me go ahead and give these a try here. Dip it in some of this house blue cheese mm -hmm. definitely get that smoky flavor in there but not overpowering I personally don't like smoked wings that all you taste is smoke but these are done just right perfect be back with the main entree right, as I said uh, the name of this place, Cask Southern Kitchen and Bar. Their menu consists of a lot of good Southern foods. And before I start on my next Southern dish, I gotta, I gotta compliment this blue cheese dressing. Look at this, look at this dressing here. It's very good. All right, so it doesn't get any more Southern than a good cold meatloaf sandwich with mayonnaise and onion. This actually has pepper jack cheese on it too. You can get it hot or cold, but I prefer cold. Let me go ahead and get into this. All right. And as a side, I got the Southern Greens. Of course, you gotta put your trusty Tabasco on there. These look like collard greens. Mm-hmm. Definitely collard greens. And I can see that they're seasoned with chunks of ham and onion. Got just a little slight hint of vinegar in there, just like good southern greens should. Not overpower it, but just a little, little hint of vinegar. All right, so also got the Southern Fried Chicken Sandwich. Spicy mayo. And it's got spicy mayo. I guess that's, oh yeah, look at that spicy mayo. It's kind of like that, uh, looks like that Popeye's Spicy Chicken Sandwich mayo. Let me go ahead and take a little. That's another good recommendation there. The breading is light. Doesn't overpower the sandwich with a bunch of breading. So that's also a good choice. Girls, what'd y'all think of your house cheeseburgers? 
They were really good. They're really good. And They're I can good. tell you really like that wing, Mackenzie. It's all over your face. All right, well, overall, everything we had here is great. I definitely recommend this place. As I said, mom and pop owned. We just met the owner a minute ago. Nice as she can be. So get out here, do your part, support local. And y'all don't know nothing about this Cass Southern Kitchen and Bar. All right, little bonus footage here. First off, I didn't comment before on the meatloaf sandwich, I just realized. So I don't want y'all thinking that I didn't like it because it was delicious. Everything on it with the onion and the cucumber and the mayonnaise, it was right on time. Other thing is the oysters. On Thursdays, you can get the oysters for a dollar a piece. So, you know, you can come in here and gorge on oysters for just a dollar a piece. You know, you don't even get those prices down in Apalachicola, Florida. But anyway, uh, also good value for the money. We got two appetizers and all four of us ate for 55 bucks, which I think that's pretty, uh, pretty good price. And uh, other than that, y'all don't know nothing about this Cask Southern Kitchen and Bar. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.